is it the right time to invest in this company? Or maybe it would be better to invest in its main competitor or even the S&P 500. Let's analyze which is the better investment of the three. For growth, what you see here is the stock with the highest projected earnings growth for the next five years. We want to figure out which of the three is growing its earnings the fastest. Note here the S&P 500 is based on the average of its 10 largest stock components. For P-E ratio, what you see here is the stock with the least amount of speculation around its price. We want to figure out which of the three is less overhyped by having the smallest P-E ratio. The less, the better. For the 200-day moving average, what you see here is the stock that is trading lower than its 200-day moving average the most. We want to figure out which stock is furthest below what it has been normally trading at. This is a sign of good value. For returns, what you see here is the ROA, ROE, and ROI of the three stocks. We want to figure out which stock is using its assets, cash, and investments most efficiently. The greater the overall return, the more efficient the stock's business. For dividends, what you see here is the stock that pays you the most to hold their shares. We want to figure out which stock is paying you the most relative to its price. A high yield means the price is sufficiently low enough to give you a great return on your cash payout. For the short float, what you see here is the stock investors and traders are most bearish in. We want to figure out which stock has the most positive sentiment indicated with a lower short float. For the profit margins, what you see here is the stock that generates the most profits from its business. We want to figure out which stock is in the best type of business that generates a lot of cash and can keep a lot of that cash after all expenses have been paid. For the analysts, what you see here is the stock that most Wall Street analysts favor the most. We want to figure out what the average consensus others think of the stock. A grade of 1 is the best, indicating a strong buy. A grade of 5 is the worst, indicating a strong sell. So after going through all our business metrics, what you see here is the total score for all three stocks. The higher the score, the better the business of the three. If the company has a higher point total than the S&P 500, it's a market beat, and that's the preferred outcome. Before we get to our fair price, join my Patreon. You'll get access to every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Go to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. What you see here is the current price of the company and its fair price. The big percentage is how undervalued or overvalued the stock is compared to its fair price. What we want is a higher percentage that makes the stock more undervalued. If we have a negative number, that's an indication the stock is overvalued right now. So we've looked at the business and the fair price of the company. But other than that, sometimes you just want to know how the stock has performed over a number of years against its industry and that of the S&P 500. Sometimes you just want to know if the company has done well enough to invest in based on its past performance. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more analysis videos. Invest wisely and as always, take care of your money.